In this video, I'm going to show you the GrabCut algorithm in OpenCV. I'm running the sample of OpenCV, and by using it, you can just create a rectangle around the object that you want to segment, and then you can just press the N key on your keyboard. And after a couple of seconds, you will see that the image is segmented. You can also specify the background and foreground pixels. Holding Shift in this example and clicking on the image, you can specify which are the foreground pixels that you want to keep. For example, you can specify all these pixels being foreground. And you can also specify the background pixels but while holding control. So these pixels here, for example, are background. So you can specify that in the model. And also these small pixels here. So, just... so then when you press again the N keyword, you will see that they're gone. So by doing that, you can refine it and segment your object much better. So we'll see the code uh, needed to run this, and which is basically mostly this line. This is the most important line, which is the GrabCut algorithm, which needs an image. It needs a mask. A mask is basically a matrix, the same size of the image. Uh, but it defines which are the pixels that are background, which are the pixels that are foreground, and which are probably background and probably foreground. Also, we need a rectangle like this, a normal rectangle. And these are temporary matrix that you can just, you don't have to set anything to them. You just pass it to the algorithm. This is just the number of times that you want the algorithm to run. And this is an option that you can say the algorithm to run with the mask. So specifically, you give the algorithm the specific mask that you want using this, the four constant values to specify the background and foreground. Or you can use the rectangle. So you can say, OK, start with the rectangle, and OpenCV will start the mask with those values. For example, everything outside the rectangle will be background, and everything inside the rectangle will be probably foreground. That's pretty much everything that you need to know in order to use the GraphCat algorithm. And most of the code is basically for dealing with click of the mouse and key presses and stuff like that. Here you can see the four constants that I was talking about later. Here's the background and foreground. And this is a probably for background and probably foreground. So if you set the pixels of the mask into those values, then you run the algorithm and then you will have the segmented image. And that's it. That's everything you need to know to run the GrabCat algorithm.